Hey friends, I want us to look at the writing that you did last week. We are gonna work on revising and editing it together. So the first thing I want you to do is you're going to read it out loud to someone. It could be brother, sister, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever's there and ready to listen. But you're not just reading it out loud to them. Reading it out loud can help you make sure that it makes sense and that you have all the words you need. But also I want you to get feedback from your listener. So maybe they think that they were needed more details on something. Maybe they were confused and you need to add something to your writing so that they're not confused when listening to your story. So here's what you're doing. As the writer, you're going to read your work aloud, maybe twice, and remember to use a loud voice, read slowly and with expression. Don't read it like a robot, read it with excitement. And your listener is going to just listen and then maybe if they wanna jot down some questions, and they're going to be respectful and give you their attention and just tell you what they like about it and maybe some questions that they aren't sure about that you could maybe add to your writing to make it even better. After you do that, I want you to go back into your writing and look for the types of sentences that we were talking about last week. Declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory. Remember, declarative is declaring, I have a bicycle, and it ends with a period. Interrogative asks a question like it's interrogating you. Do you have a bicycle too? Question mark, those end with question marks. Imperative gives a command or orders. Take your bicycle and go home. These can either end in a period or an exclamation point if it's said with enough excitement. And the last one is exclamatory, which shows really strong emotion, exclaims. Someone took my bicycle. So make sure that when you're looking through and revising your narrative, that you have these different types of sentences and that they end the right way and make sense in your story. Fix it if it doesn't, no big deal. The next thing you're going to look for are direct addresses. Now, you might not know what that is and that's okay. I'm gonna show you these sentences and I want you to see if you can figure out what they have in common. The first one is, Isabella, can you please bring me some water? The next one is, I really want to help you, Alex, but I am not sure what you need. The third one is, I had a really great time, Emily. Now, I know they all have people in our class in these sentences, but what do they all have in common? If you noticed the names, you're on the right track. A direct address means you're directly speaking to an individual person. So, in this case, Isabella is who the sentence is directed to. In the next one, I really want to help you, who? Alex. And I had a really great time, Emily. You're talking directly to a person. Now, that is something they all have in common, but I want you to look even more closely. What else do they have in common? Look at the names and what's around them. After we said Isabella, there is a comment. Isabella, can you please bring me some water? There's kind of a pause when you say it directly to somebody, you put a comma after their name if it's at the beginning of a sentence. Now this one, Alex, is in the middle of a sentence. So look, there's a comma before Alex. I really want to help you, Alex. Another comma, but I am not sure what you need. So when it's in the middle, there is a comma on both sides of the name, before and after. And then down here at the bottom, I had a really great time, Emily. Who? We're talking about Emily and there's a comma before her name. So when it's at the very end of a sentence, there's gonna be a comma there. So I want you to look through your writing to see if you have any direct addresses, maybe in your dialogue, maybe just in your writing, and see if you need to add any commas. A lot of times this is, will be in the dialogue part of your writing. So to just sum it up, Here's what you're looking for in your writing today. First, you're gonna read it to someone and get feedback. Make sure that things make sense. See if they have any questions about it, things that they really enjoyed about it. Next, check your types of sentences. Make sure that you have the right punctuation. If you've got an interrogative sentence, you need to have a question mark at the end. If you have an exclamatory sentence, it needs an exclamation point. And if it's declarative or imperative, Make sure you've got those periods where they need to be. All of these on this checklist 
are imperative. I'm telling you what to do. Read this, check this, look for this. They all have periods. And the last thing is look for those direct addresses that I just talked about and add those commas if you need to do that.